best knowledge is like a cold plunge, you know, no one ever really wants to go into a cold plunge, right? Uh, but you do it anyways. And so in the same way that no one really wants to look at these pieces within themselves, there's a higher order of recognizing that you anything on the self-realization path or the healing path is front-loaded in pain, meaning the highest intensity is up front. And then the biggest payoffs on the other side. And that's where the word devotion, <laughs> faith and trust come in is like those words were just ways of conceptualizing this piece is you sort of have to have some degree of faith and trust and surrender and devotion uh, to go through your own pain to get on the other side. And whereas the other side, which is the form of contraction, is to utilize things that appear expansionary, and they are, <laughs> but temporarily and unsustainably. So all forms of like dopaminergic mediated drugs like cocaine or heroin or alcohol or even the nature of the mind, which is like a form of escapism, are kind of like front loaded in the nature of like being able to deliver some form of what feels like expansion, meaning they're using your own light to give you that experience on your time, right? But they come so at a great cost, right? To your long term uh, expansion of love. Because they are actually the same analogy of stepping over a dollar to pick up a penny, <laughs> right? Is that you get the experience in the moment, but then it takes away more of that light. Eventually, you get to rock bottom where it takes away everything in your life, including itself. And then you're left with the ability to see all things as it is, just the way it is. And a lot of people arise from rock bottom because rock bottom is where there's no more energy to keep the egoic structure intact because it takes a lot of energy to keep it intact and for us to see things with clarity is to actually be able to let go of the nature of the egoic structure which is our personality that arose trying to keep us safe and ultimately was just leading us down a path of self-realization and self-discovery so it's not that that side is bad or inherently wrong in fact, the people who have gone the furthest down, suffering and pain, typically have extracted, if they go all the way through and the other side, have extracted the most wisdom and clarity. So it's, you know, you're always where you need to be. Uh, it's just uh, our ability to be present with that and to lean into the areas of pain and uncomfortability so that we can expand on the other side is the practice of transformation that is needed. So the ability to feel, if we were to lay out four steps in terms of the nature of like what what is the process that someone needs to do? They don't know anything about the nature of spirituality or really I like the word self-realization mm -hmm. uh, because spirituality is the core operating system of everything. So everything collapses into spirituality, meaning self-realization. And so those four things is uh, essentially don't react, don't resist, don't engage at the level of the mind and just feel. And those four steps can take you all the way home. Uh, and the reason that is, is all of the things above that is just conditioning. And reaction is a reactivation of some form of conditioning that we haven't felt. Right. So the order of magnitude of that is depending on the iceberg. How deep is that iceberg of anger, fear, or sadness? And if we feel, if we don't react, we don't resist, we don't love, engage at the level of the mind, meaning the mind will have a narrative or story about the sensations you're feeling. Um, and you, you can't control that. Yeah. And the point is not to control it.